We all use computers today for different reasons. Some use it for gaming, some use it for editing, some use it for office work, or maybe some other reasons. But we need to make sure that our PC is running well and good. We need to keep it running at the maximum pace it can. We need to troubleshoot the problems, we need to fix the problems, and we need to boost its performance. So I'm bringing you this ultimate guide today, the PC Booster Guide. We're going to do this in very easy and simple steps. There will be 8 steps in total. So. Let's get started. Step number one. Go to start button. Type in run. Once the run opens up, we're going to go to services.msc. As you can see here, services.msc. Click OK. You're going to look for a service called sysmain. So as you can see here, sysmain, this service, once you see this, make sure that this startup type is disabled and it's not running. If it's running, make sure that you stop it. All you have to do is just right click it and click on stop and it will stop. Just go to properties and make sure that the startup type is disabled and the service name is sysmain. Once you do that, just click on apply, OK and just close this. Step number two, we're going to go to start button again. Go to run. Once the run opens up, this time we're gonna type in sysdm.cpl. Sysdm.cpl, as you can see here, click on OK. Now it will open up the system properties. We just have to go to advanced. We're gonna look for this option called performance. We're gonna go to the settings. And once you go to the settings, there will be four options. The default option is this one, let Windows choose what's best for my computer, adjust for best appearances, adjust for best performance and custom. Make sure that if you want to boost your PC performance, you have this one selected, the third option, adjust for best performance, select this, click on apply, and then click on OK, OK again, and that's it. Step number three, go to task manager. And once the task manager opens up, go to this option called startup. Now make sure whichever application you don't want to be starting up whenever your computer boots up, make sure those are disabled. For example, as you can see here, the Skype, the Spotify, the startup, these icons, these applications, I don't want to be running whenever my computer boots up. So these I have kept as disabled. So make sure any unwanted application that you don't want, make sure those are disabled. Step number four, delete the temporary files. Now to do that, you have to go to start button again, type in run. Once run opens up, you're going to type in temp. Click on OK. Now make sure you select everything and do a shift delete. Click on yes. Provide the administrator permission. Now some of the files will not get deleted because those are currently in use and it's absolutely fine. You can just skip for those. And that's it. And we have to clean up one more temp directory. For that again, we're gonna go to start. Go to run. Now instead of temp, we're going to type in percentage. Temp percentage. And click on OK. Again, a new window will pop up. Make sure you select everything with Control A. Keep delete to delete everything. Provide the administrator permission. Continue. Some of the files will not get deleted because those are currently open or being used. It's also defined. Just select this and press skip. Step number five, the cleanup manager. Go to start button again. Open up the run. We're going to type in clean MGR. Click on OK to open up the cleanup manager and make sure whichever drive you have currently the windows installed. Make sure you select that drive. For me, it's the I will leave it at C and just press OK. Now, whichever drives or folders are there, you have to make sure you select everything. Select everything and just you have to click on OK. Now, once you select everything, you're going to see it will clean up some space. 405 MB, the space and junk files. Click on OK, delete files. It will take up some time, but it's absolutely fine. Make sure that you delete these files weekly at least once. Step number six, clean up the large files in the downloads folder. Now, once you go to your downloads, you want to be making sure that whichever file is 
greater in size you have those deleted for example uh once i come here i will just go to sort by size once i click this it will show me the files which are more in size for example i can just delete this file funny song this uh, Insta Real Audio, this folder, this, this copyright free music, this file, anything that I feel like is more in size, I can just delete those. This is a very easy and simple step actually. Step number seven, go to control panel and uninstall any big program. Now we're going to go to the search bar, type in control panel, press enter, go to uninstall a program. As you can see here, I have some games installed currently, which are Bigger in size, for example, this Alan Wake 2, this is currently taking 40.8 gigabytes. This right client, this is taking 31.3 gigabytes. So if I don't need any of these files, I can just delete them. For example, this DaVinci is also taking 4.27 GBs. I can just delete these files and clean up more space inside my C drive. And that will make my computer a little bit faster. Number eight, the most important step of all, and I would recommend you that you do this weekly once without any mess, because this is a very, very important step. Go to start button again, type in virus and threat protection. It will open up your current settings for your uh, Windows security. Go to scan options. Make sure you select this full scan and click on scan now. Now make sure you have this scan run at least once a week. What it will do is it will find any kind of virus or threats inside your machine and it will rid them of it. Now Windows has a very strong kind of a Windows security setup, which is actually really, really good. So if you run this at least once a week, it really helps your computer. So make sure you don't miss it. Now, those are the very easy and simple eight steps that you can do to boost your PC performance. Whether if, if it's high CPU usage, you can re remediate that. If it's high disk usage, you can fix that. If it's high RAM usage, you can mitigate that. So, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one.